Hello, I'm Andrew from p and Marine Engineers and I've had over 20 years experience in fitting up um, marine shafts. So today I'd like to show you what I look for and how to fit a coupling to a shaft. Now it's really important to remember that the key of a coupling is not driving the shaft, it's the taper that drives the shaft. So you've got the taper of the shaft here and the coupling is locked on by the coupling nut. Now what I'm going to do is show you a fit of a coupling and then you can see what I'm talking about when it comes to um, fitting the coupling up properly. So we use a stuff called bearing blue. Put a thin smear of bearing blue onto the um, shaft. You want it thick enough that it's coloured but not too thick where you can't see the, the uh, colour of the shaft. So we put blue on the shaft and we make sure that it's a nice even, even coating. We'll have a close up of that. And with that, you get the uh, coupling and then you put it onto the blue and it will mark where it's hitting, whether it's hitting evenly or up the top end or the small end. So I'll just show you, put on the coupling without the key bang it on and then just tap the tap the shaft off and uh, close up will show as you can see there it's a nice even blue all the way down the coupling so once you've established that the taper is uh, correct and even all the way through um, you wipe all the blue off and then we go and proceed with the fitting as discussed before, the key does not drive the shaft. It's the taper that drives the shaft through the coupling. But the key is very important. It needs to be loose, or not loose, but sliding in the coupling by hand. But alternatively, firm in the shaft. Not over tight where you have to belt it in with a four pound sledgehammer, but firm enough that you might require a small tap to bottom it out. So as you can see, the shaft key cannot be pushed by hand. So it won't ride up the shaft. If the key rides up the shaft, what happens is the key lifts up, jams the coupling between the keyway and the shaft, thus resu resulting in a concentric or eccentric circle in the causing vibration. So after that, we check and do the dry fit of the coupling over the key. So once again, we make sure it goes up to the top of the taper. Then we look down the top of the key. So close up will show you what I'm looking at. It's the light down the top of the key, hardly any light down the sides. So once you're happy with the, the dry fit of the coupling, um, it, it makes it a lot easier when you're sitting inside the boat and you're trying to put the coupling on as you know there's bits of pipe and and straps and filters and engine and you know all all sorts of manner of things sitting over the top of your shaft so it's really hard to get on and off so in the next how-to video I'll show you how to get it off without busting your knuckles or putting too much effort and strain into it